I'm Tom McLaughlin and I'm the Program Director for the Emergency Medicine Residency here at Christus Spahn. Our $350 million expansion includes a state-of-the-art emergency department that encompasses almost the entire first floor of the new building. The ED is divided into four pods and our blue pod and red pod are our high acuity areas and this is the primary area where our residents work. In addition, we have expansive physician and nursing documentation areas where it's an ideal area for residents and attendings to discuss patient plans and determine patient treatment. The CT scanners and the x-ray suites are also located right within the ED, which of course enhances patient care. Working at our emergency department here at Christus von Shoreline is absolutely fantastic. We have wonderful new trauma bays. They're spacious. Um, we have plenty of room for all of our emergency medicine residents, all of our trauma team, all of the techs, um, and all of the uh, respiratory therapists here to help manage traumas effectively. Um, we have brand new equipment, we have new airway equipment, new ultrasound machines that we use daily. Um, we have all the new monitors and the big surgical lights here that help us um, take real good care of all of our patients. Our layout of the ED is perfect because we sit right behind the nurses, so contact them is easy. And we need to make calls out to consultants. We have, the, we have our callers right, that sits right there at the front, and so you can contact them right there and they'll put the call out for you. And everything just seems to be in a good transition point um, for you to have access to everyone and everything that you need. We have a great relationship with our nurses. Um, they're easy to find uh, if we need anything. Uh, they're e easy to track down and, and to ask them for what we need. Um, we have a great cafeteria upstairs. It's open with great hours. Um, and anytime they're not open, if they're closed um, and we get hungry, then there's a grab and go nearby that's open 24 hours that we can go there and, and get drinks or snacks. Um, so it's, it's been great, uh, well lit, um, just a beautiful place to work. In addition, we have a new educational floor in our new building that includes our auditorium for our weekly conferences, additional classrooms, and our advanced simulation laboratory. Having these all co-located make it very easy to incorporate simulation activities into our EM conference. The new simulation center that we moved into last year is over 7,000 square feet of educational space. I have six simulation stations in three different rooms, uh, a lot of space to do a multitude of activities. It, we can convert it to do a lot of different things through high fidelity simulation. I can simulate an ICU, I can simulate a trauma bay and an ED. Uh, we can even simulate labor and delivery. Um, we also have an audiovisual system. One of the things we do, especially with advanced learners, particularly residents, is we'll do something called remote facilitation where the instructor and uh, basically everybody else's simulation that's operating it is in a separate room. And this is to create the realism where they're not focusing on the instructor, but they're actually focusing on the patient. We have a setup where we can operate all our mannequin simulators remotely uh, through a networking system that we have here. The faculty support has been phenomenal. I was definitely a clean slate coming into this simulation rotation, no experience in the past, and I feel like the approach from Dr. Butler, Dr. Talia, the approach has been how can I make this student more marketable to residency programs, whether that's Corpus or anywhere else. And I just feel like the learning curve this month, it's been steep, but it's also been very supported. I, I have every resource in the world I would ever need. With the Family Medicine Residency as the only other residency, the EM program is virtually unopposed. This means all procedures are performed by EM residents. There is no sharing of procedures with surgical residents or the PICA residents or internal medicine residents or any other specialty for that matter. Residency offers a lot of things that I think are different and make it kind of stand out compared to others. It has an unopposed situation so the residents only have their colleagues and family medicine training here with them at this site and they get unopposed um, procedures, their first assist on many different procedures and if they choose to go to the operating room when they're working on different subspecialty services, um, they're kind of one-on-one -on -one with the surgeon and the attending with their small team. They get first chance at almost everything that they do. Um, they get to develop relationships pretty uh, close with the consultants and do things in the ER that they wouldn't otherwise do in academic settings that they would more see in community medicine with different specialties like ophthalmology procedures, ENT procedures, orthopedic reductions, um, see a lot of trauma and then very um, high acuity medical population as well. What I love about our program is the collegiality and the rapport between the faculty, each other, and the residents. Uh, it's very special and I think it's what distinguishes our program that there's 
a very great mentorship relationship, a big brother, big sister relationship to the residents, and it, it really works for teaching and for having happy residents and happy faculty. Uh, the program here is very family oriented. They like, the residents love doing things together and uh, really help each other along. Um, and me as a coordinator, I see them as my children for three years and uh, really enjoy being, uh, being here for them.